Okay, now for the ground unveiling. So, wall washing. Now, I don't know if you can see this in the in the uh, video. Not really. Turns out that these two lights are different color temperatures. The one on the left is more of a cool white and the one on the right is more of a warm white, um, which is disappointing, especially as we've had these lights for a while now. Um, just haven't used them or fitted them. But um, So that's wall washing. The other thing, I don't know if you guys can see this in the video, but I'll, zoom, I'll bring it in, is now that I've changed the direction of the light, okay? Uh, so the shadows have changed up the wall. The wall looked really well plastered, um, almost perfect. Now that I've got light shining up the wall, you can see imperfections in the plastering, um, which is disappointing. Now, it's always a good idea for decorators um, to always have the lights in place before all the shadows change because they can fill to this and then it will look perfect. Otherwise, you'll get what I've just what's just happened to me, where the decorator finishes, you come along, put your lights on, and then you're showing up imperfections, which might not necessarily be the, the painter and decorator's fault. It's just that now that the shadows have changed, um, the lighting, you know, the, the, the imperfections in the wall are, are showing up. So I'll just go through the motions and show you the bottom set of, you know, how the bottom lights, and the plan. So you've got these reading lights. Um, ooh, bit of a wobble. Plus sheets on wood floor. So there you go. Those are the reading lights. Phillips. It would be nice if these were dimmable. Actually, in hindsight, you could dim these right down. Um, it would make it a lot better, uh, in my opinion. And then with both both sets of lights on, so, there we go. Perfect. You can kind of see the colour difference a lot more. I mean, if you look at this one on the left, you've got a, it looks like it's a larger beam of light whereas this one looks more faded and but that's really what the color temperature difference is doing um if that makes sense i'll, I'll bring the camera over and zoom it in for you guys um, and let's have a look see if we can see what's going on so let's take it off the camera mount we'll bring it in okay so i've just brought it in um can't really see it there. Let's see if we can get up to these walls. Oh, look, there you go. You can just sort of see it. So before, I've never noticed that or that or any of that across the top. Okay. If I switch that light off, you can't, <laughs> you'd never have seen it, um, even with the main light on, you know. But now that I've put this light here, so all the lighting is showing up and it's showing the imperfections, it stands out like a sore thumb. Um, you know, there's all this in the wall. So what I'm gonna have to do now is sand that down and decorate that out, which is gonna be fun. Um, so that's that side. What's it like the other side? Yeah, you can see it this side as well. Um, again, I guess it's an occupational hazard of being an electrician. You come along and highlight everyone else's sins. Um, so yeah, I mean, look, never saw that before. That looks terrible. It's almost like an Artex wall. So all these little, <laughs> little lumps, I mean, that looks terrible. Um, I can't complain too much, guys, because uh, my dad did this and he was helping me out, saving some money. Um, but yeah, that won't take long. I have to rub that down and then just redecorate this. Fine games, but just something to be aware of, guys. Obviously, you can see the colour temperature now, hopefully. It's a bit more whiter than it was over the other side. 
but fun and games. Nothing too much here. Typically, most of it was above the, the light. Right. Okay, take care, guys. Uh, speak soon.